let me show you on this video how to create a form on JotForm to create support tickets on SendDesk. So follow me to my desktop right now. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is George and this is JotForm. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a form here on JotForm so we can create support tickets. The beauty about this is that we're going to create a form that's going to be super easy to access by your clients, virtual assistants, and they will be able to create support tickets on SendDesk through the form. All right, so let's get started. This is my dashboard and we're going to get started with a brand new form that we're going to use for this integration. So let's start from scratch, classic form, and we're going to drag in the elements that we're going to need to create our support tickets here on SendDesk. Now let's go ahead and open up one of these support tickets because there's elements here that we want to create on our form. So it creates these support tickets. Things that we want to create is the title, the message, the priority, the tags, and the status. So those are things that we want to have available here when we create the support ticket, all right? So let's drag in the elements like the name, a date picker. Let's add some drop down menus. Okay, the first one will be status. Let's drag another one drop down. This one is going to be priority. And the next one we're going to drop in will be another drop down menu for the tag. All right. And then at the end, we're going to add the email. OK, these are some basic elements. Oh, let's add one more for long text for a message if we want to add one here. OK, here we go. Message. All right. So this is the form that we want to use for creating support tickets. So let's give this name support form, right? And we're going to go into settings, integrations. Let's go ahead and search for Zendesk. Here it is. Let's go ahead and select it. And if you previously integrated with Zendesk, you'll find the account right here. If not, it'll give you a brand new button to integrate. So let's use another account. Let's add the subdomain that Zendesk created for us. So over here on Zendesk, once you're logged in, you will have a link that's available for you that's different. So start off with your personalized subdomain and then dot sendesk.com. And what we need is that little personalized subdomain. In this case, this is mine. I'm going to add my new account and I've previously already authorized job form to integrate with Zendesk, but if not, it'll ask you to approve the integration. All right. So here we go. The first one is add a ticket subject. So in this section, we're able to write our own message plus use variables from the form that we created. So for example, this is going to be, for example, we're going to name it support for and we are going to add the first name for this one Add a dash here. And I'll add another variable that like the ones that we have right here. And we're going to set, for example, the email, right? So these are kind of settings that we like uh, to implement here, but you can add your own use case and your own variables available here. So you can personalize this and have a really easy way to locate these subjects. All right. And then for the ticket description, in this case, I'm going to use the message section. But again, you can use your variables and your own personalized text to use right here, right? And then we want to tie the fields. So by default, a name and email is already tied one with another. Let's add a new field here. For example, the status will be tied to our own status here. There it is, the status. There we go. And then the next variable that we want to add is the priority. Go ahead and find this here, priority and tie it with our own priority drop down, right? Then we want to choose a group. In this case, it's going to be a support group. These groups are created in a Zendesk and then choose tags. In this case, I'm going to use my tags a drop down and I can add my own tags here and I can select tags from the ones that are already available on Zendesk from the ones that you've previously created. Let's go ahead and save this for now. All right, let's go ahead and save it. Okay, it's good to go. Let's go back into our builder. All right. So for the status, we need to create the status options here. For example, on this section, we have the status for open, in progress, pending and solved. So let's go ahead and add these here. Be sure to add the same ones. Open, pending, in progress. And the last one is solved. Here we go. Let's go ahead and add it here. Solve. All right. And then in priority In priority, we have, for example, low, normal, high and urgent. So let's go ahead and add those normal, high, urgent, and low. Here we go. Yes, it was low. Yes, it was. All right. Um, you can set these as you want, but do make sure that it's the same one as send desk, right? And then for tags, in this case, I will use one that says job form. 
um, you can add yours there and use those. All right, here we go. We should be ready. Let's go ahead and preview this form. All right, let's go fill out this form with dummy data. Here it is. The status is open priority. The tag is job form. Some message there and the email. Let's go ahead and submit this. Here we go. Let's get on out of here. Let's go jump into send desk to our main section where the tickets are created. And here it is support for John and the email. Remember, that's the subject that we use with our own variables. Requester John Smith requested less, less than a minute ago. Let's go ahead and check this out. Here it is. And we have the priority as normal tags job form. You can see this tag there. The assignee, which is me in this case, and the requester is uh, John. The message is available here. So automatically we're able to add that there. So the idea here is to have this form ready where it's an easy link that you can share where you have a virtual assistant, a client that can just jump into this form and they don't have to go directly to Zendesk. So it's a really easy way. Like I mentioned before, you can share the link. You can create a QR code inside of here and several ways to share it, even embedded on a website where it's going to be super easy to create these support tickets. So it's a great way to integrate with JotForm and Zendesk. So if you want to create a support form that's going to create those tickets on Zendesk, this is the way to do it. And that's how you're going to integrate JotForm with Zendesk to create support tickets. I thank you all for watching. Please let us know here in the comments what you think about this integration and what you would like to see in the future. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell notification to get notified when new videos come out. And that's a wrap.